Hello, <clears throat> and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It is June 1946. Uh, this invasion popped up not where I thought it would. It centered on Cork, not Dublin. That's okay. Our ships are headed there. That just means a one-turn delay in taking Ireland itself. You've already taken Northern Ireland, as you can see here. It is now mine. Not the biggest, uh, most valuable province, but it's uh, it's nice to have something here. It means I can put ships in Belfast, and they might do uh, convoy missions and such. On the other side of the planet, we got the invasion of uh, Eastern China. It's not going too well. Twenty-four percent chance to succeed. Uh, not the greatest odds. I do have some ships scattered about here. Actually, quite a few light cruisers. Might add them to the mix. See any particular um, uh, task forces that need. Mm, no, they're all pretty well escorted. That's not too much tonnage. A couple of Fargos here. Another couple of Fargos here. So that's 26,000, 26,000. That's 52. Yeah, almost 60,000 tons. That's equal of a battleship. It's not nothing. It's just... I um, don't think it's going to make a huge difference. But let's move them in. That means um, they're not going to be generating uh, convoy missions. Because they will no longer be in port. But I think we can forego some convoy missions. And Saigon. Any others? Do we have some ports around here? be funny if I just had some random battleship sitting uh, somewhere, but no. Nothing. This task force, though, well, single battleship, Minnesota, is also heading into there. So that's another 40,000. Alright, yeah. Let's go to July and see what happens. Submarines. Sunk one. Strike. Another strike on Cork. And a meeting, a gong class. That's some serious uh, light cruiser support. Guess they all got added to this uh, task force. That's fine. I'm just gonna send them home and play with my battle cruisers because I think that's all that is gonna be needed. All right. First off. Sending some of my ships home. Because there's just no point in having them here and uh, risking them taking damage. Because these battlecruisers will get it done. See, it's already spotting my... Uh, 
my lighter ships. But the Padawans are already punishing it. Not too much damage at this kind of range. Uh, firing HE, I'm sure we can uh, we can deck pen it at. Well, maybe not. But now we can probably um, go through the belts. It's coming straight for me. It's not even trying to run. Giving me a pretty flat broadside. Which is nice. Uh, let's go back to auto. I think they're still going to choose AP. Extensive fire, actually. Yeah. It did zero damage in return. That's pretty nice. And that was it for this turn. Ninety-one percent. That's not too bad. And that's with a uh, British, uh, two British submarines in my area. Let's see, here we go. Two battleships and a battlecruiser. Two battleships, two battlecruisers, two battleships, two battlecruisers. So, <clears throat> no matter which task force is engaged, I should have ships to deal with it. Yeah. That should work. Let's see. These guys they're going here. 23 percent. Let's add some more ships. And we have these ones too. That's where to um, rendezvous. So we can just set them to meet here. So that's four more battleships. That's another uh, 250,000 tons, give or take. Now you do have some ships in here. Uh, let's set these to invade. Maybe we're going to get some strike missions on... Um, Hangzhou. In fact, can I move even closer into into the bay? Yes, I can. And this one is arriving. That's another forty thousand. 
So every bit of tonnage um, is going to help. Oh, Freedom and Liberty are... Um, they have launched. They're being commissioned. But that is some hefty uh, tonnage. A couple of Woosters. Um, let's send them in here. Just making sure that when I do want to move them out, they have some escorts. Because it would suck to lose one of them in a, in a submarine attack. Speaking of escorts, are in four months for my DD-45s to finish. And four months for the uh, 46s. Yeah, lots of uh, shipbuilding capacity now. I might want to... Give the new super battleships a uh, a refit, but I don't think I can do that while they are being commissioned. I think they have to be in service to receive a uh, a refit. Because what I was think thinking about doing is replacing their eight twenty inch guns with twelve. Uh, 17 or 17.5s with heavy shells. That should give them a lot of punch, but more ammo per gun and a faster rate of fire. Oh, British are repairing lots of battleships. Alright, submarines first. Sunk both. Sunk that one too. Well, new battleships have arrived. We're gonna strike Shanghai. Ooh, and here we go. That's a battle. <laughs> That's a battle. Lord Nelson's. Four of them. One Royal Alfred, the budget uh, battlecruiser. A heavy, a light, DD. Uh, Viking class. I think that's kind of old. Because that's one not one of the super expensive ones. But we got the Missouri and New Jersey facing off against four battleships and a battlecruiser. They're only escorted by a light and five DDs. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Alright, we're already firing. Let's see what to do now. Uh, I'm not sure if I can afford to... Um, send any of my ships home. Because they're all kind of needed. Although the Missouri and New Jersey will have to do most of the work here. At least uh, the 37s, 25.3. Uh, one of these is a 32. Yeah, they all got the same torpedoes. I'm gonna try to get a good opening torpedo volley. Oh, light cruiser can just follow for now.
New Jersey, you better actually sail in a straight line and not do the weird stuff where you just turn all around. And if you can't do that, I'm just gonna, yeah, just gonna have to detach it and sail it on its own because I need its firepower to actually be effective. Let's see here. Like so. And these are sailing here. Try and get some kind of cross torp action going. Alright, uh, the <laughs> the I thought I set all of your torpedoes to uh, aggro. Gosh darn it, now they're gonna spot the first ones first, and then maneuver. You all launched. Let's see, what what ship is that? What? Like the fire priority. Has kind of gone to shit. In this game. Like, yeah, it's an impressive amount of damage they can do to a... Uh, Light cruiser. But I want them to focus on the battleships. There we go, torpedo heads are scored. Turn you down to uh, cruising speed. Three uh, DD is lost. That's not ideal, but they were not the uh, the most expensive ones. Or the thirty uh, sevens. You're firing at thirty four kilometers. It's not too bad. We're sticking outside of the range of the enemy uh, battleships. Which is probably the way to play this. Because if I get all four of those battleships firing at my battleships, mine are gonna have a lot of damage instability, reducing their accuracy. And most of theirs are not going to have that. Uh, this battleship is almost dead already. Excellent. Let's 
just make sure it actually dies. Fix the uh, flooding. Centurion is firing. That's your new target, Missouri. Uh, Missouri, why are you not just pounding with, with AP? Jersey has almost finished the Lord Nelson. Which I thought we'd or already sunk. Augusta is doing uh, what she's supposed to. Targeting a uh, torpedo boat that got a little bit too close. Ooh, torpedo hit. That's not one of my torpedo hits. Thank you for the warning, uh, kind enemy uh, torpedo boat. I wonder who launched that torpedo. Probably you, Dartmouth. Or maybe not. One torpedo hit. Yeah, it was you, Carnarvon. Good job. Good job, Carnarvon. <laughs> that did get added to my torpedo uh, hit tally. That's funny. Go back to auto. Let's actually finish off these uh, cruisers first. And when they are dead, I can send my light cruiser in to kill the torpedo boats. last that long. And that was Carnarvon dead. Incomparable. Jersey is the one firing at Dartmouth. Which is basically dead. And he's dead. Let's kill uh, Lord Nelson.
Now, Augusta. We're gonna go kill some torpedo boats. So far, not so bad. We've sunk one battleship. Two cruisers. And we're very close to sinking a battle cruiser. I think that was it. I think that was the end of the incomparable. Lord Nelson goes down. Oh, Augusta is taking a um, bit more punishment than she bargained for. Right, one of my battleships is firing at tiny boats. There's no need. That's what the light cruiser is for. Falcon is launched. My light cruiser will not be where those torpedoes are gonna end up. And now we just have two battleships left. The Centurion is going to be the first to die, I think. Yeah, almost 40 kilometers. I have a lot of deck pen at that range. Augusta seems to be getting away. Mainly thanks to the enemy battleships taking a lot of damage and stability from, uh, from my 16 inch guns. sure my battle wagons are not just sailing away. get the uh, the thumbnail done you know gotta get my nails did firing over her sister yeah there's yeah only the superb left Get my light cruiser. So as to not leave the battle empty handed. She's done a lot though. She probably was the one uh, smacking those uh, DDs. Or 
one of the ones. Getting those early torpedo hits, that, that did help. I think it did. Just didn't really... Um, I think my DDs would face that accurate fire from that kind of range. So it might not have been worth losing um, three of them, but I'm getting new ones. So it's okay. Flooding hits. Thirty two kilometers, twenty seven kilometers. I'm going through the belts now. Uh, I'd have to be further away to get deck penetrations. Scored a hit, but now she's gonna flood. And there she goes. <coughs> All right. It's kind of impressive that they uh, managed to uh, scrounge together another force of four battleships. But, there is more. Uh, it's not that much. It's kind of overkill, if you ask me, but at least it should be quick. Alright, same plan as previously. I'm just gonna send my lightships home, so they avoid taking any damage. Because I'm pretty sure the uh, the Panama class battlecruisers can handle this on their own. No, they're not even running. Turn broadside, get all my guns firing. I need some more hits on that one, though. That's a torpedo boat. There we go. And that's the end of her. Yeah, it was a torpedo boat. With one torpedo. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. That's an expensive torpedo boat too. Let's see, mine, uh, the 39 class. 
18 million. Three, yeah. It was almost twice as expensive. And half as good. Impressive. And there is a convoy battle. Uh, not for sale. Where is the convoy battle? Here. Torpedo boat. Where is that based out of? Here. Okay. That's up to 33%. That's still not great. Uh, Minnesota, um, you might want to join a task force. Wait, do I have... This task force needs a couple more uh, light cruisers. Let's see. Indianapolis. 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 Actually, two of them will probably be enough. Let's do the convoy battle. That's gonna be, um... It's gonna be exciting. Let's see if these torpedo boats actually are half as good as mine. I think the first hit is gonna be the one that determines the winner. Let's go. We're getting closer. And there's the enemy. I'm just gonna launch my torpedoes. Might score a hit. Uh, the enemy only has one torpedo tube, so I don't think I need to worry too much. Let's see, what kind of ammo do I have? 7 Why are you not firing your semi-AP? Still no hits. There we go. There's the torpedo. Easy dodge. Oh, but I took a hit too. Oh, let's take a look at this. Yeah, she has 4.2 inch guns. And plenty of them. So maybe not such a slouch anyway. Gen 3 radar. It's not actually a bad boat. I, I take it back. This is, uh, this is quite decent. Not really good at the whole uh, torpedo part of the torpedo boat job, but probably a decent escort. Let's find the convoy. Uh, 
Now, actually, fighting the convoy might actually be a challenge. Because the convoy ships might have guns too. There they are. How close do I have to get before spotting them? Speed has been reduced due to damage. Might as well go to cruising speed. Enemy spotted. I do outspot them. Do they have guns? Three inch guns. Scoring some hits. Uh, big auto now. One down. Not want to get closer. That's one or two hits, and um, the 3911 is going to be dead. And that's the last one. Impressive work so far by uh, the 3911. And there we go. Very nice. Ninety percent. Very good. See, they have a light cruiser here, a battleship here, and more submarines. What is their navy uh, up to now? They have again three battleships, a heavy cruiser, three light torpedo boats, four submarines. Even the Chinese have a battleship again. Japan has three battlecruisers, but I've seen them lay down a lot of battleships. Don't know if any of them are any good. Italy has a decent navy. Austria-Hungary. Uh, lacking in battleships. Germany built up a decent navy. Spain, of course, 19 battleships. Very impressive. Here's the battleship. Yeah, but I think that's it for this episode. It's getting a bit late and um, if I click next turn and we have a big battle coming, I will not have time to play it. So I'm just going to end it here. And I will see you maybe tomorrow if I have time to record something. I'm going away over the weekend, so might be a couple of days with no uploads. But uh, hopefully 
there should at least be shipyard champions again on Monday. Any of these innovations going anywhere? No. No. No, no, no. Definitely not. Three million defenders. What? What's my um, armor logistics? 88%. China has 6%. Mm. Still, though, not gonna work. Anyway, goodbye, and take care.